Golf, a sport known for its pristine courses, strict etiquette, and well, let's be honest, sometimes it can be a little stuffy. Then along came Natalie Gulbis. Forget quiet concentration. This girl brought energy and a lot of personality to the greens. But after dazzling fans with her talent and those famous calendars, she faded from the golfing spotlight. Born in Sacramento, California, she wasn't handed a set of monogram clubs at birth. Instead, this determined powerhouse picked up the game at age four. By seven, she was a pint-sized prodigy, winning tournaments and making seasoned players wonder if they'd accidentally signed up for the U10 league. And while her golf skills were undeniably impressive, they weren't the only thing turning heads. Natalie had presence. With her infectious smile and undeniable charisma, she single-handedly made golf seem, well, cool. Okay, maybe not Justin Timberlake cool, but definitely cooler than watching grass grow. She wasn't afraid to embrace her femininity on the course either. Forget bland polos and khaki skirts. Natalie brought a splash of style to a sport in dire need of a makeover. This girl's golf wardrobe was about as far from frumpy as you could get. Fans went wild, sponsors came calling, and Natalie was fast becoming the most talked about golfer on the tour. Her game wasn't all style and no substance either. In 2007, she finally secured her first LPGA victory at the Avion Masters, a prestigious tournament in France. The win solidified her status as more than just a pretty face. It proved she was a serious competitor. But with fame came its fair share of distractions. Natalie became a hot commodity in the world of endorsements and even graced the cover of magazines like FHM. Talk about a far cry from your typical Golf Digest spread. Her off-course endeavor sparked a fair bit of controversy. Grumpy traditionalists clutched their pearls and muttered about upholding the dignity of the game. Please, it's golf, not a royal coronation. Still, the critics couldn't dampen Natalie's spirit. She embraced her unique mix of talent and glamour, refusing to be pigeonholed as just another athlete. But like all good stories, Natalie's had its fair share of bumps in the road, or should we say sand traps. Natalie Gulbis was on top of the world, or so it seemed, because while she was raking in wins, endorsements, and a whole lot of media attention, behind the scenes, another battle was brewing, a battle with her own body. Turns out, even the most glamorous golfers aren't immune to the occasional pulled muscle or back problems, or in Natalie's case, chronic injuries that just wouldn't quit. It started in 2005, a nagging back injury that flared up like an angry neighbor whenever she'd tried to take a powerful swing. It was the golfing equivalent of your phone dying right when you're about to take the perfect selfie. Frustrating doesn't even begin to cover it. Cortisone shots and endless physical therapy sessions became her new normal. Sometimes she could power through the pain, other times it sidelined her completely. Like any dedicated athlete, Natalie refused to give up. She tried everything under the sun to get her body back in fighting shape. New swing techniques, experimental treatments, maybe even a voodoo doll or two, who knows? Her perseverance was admirable, but her body simply wasn't cooperating. Her once promising career started to resemble a roller coaster with more dips than a bad round of mini golf. Injuries weren't her only obstacle. As her star power grew, so did the gossip, rumors, and whispers. Was she more focused on photo shoots than practice sessions? Did her off-course fame distract her from the game? People were quick to point fingers, forgetting that Natalie was an actual human being, not a made-for-TV golf robot. And then there were the controversies. Remember that calendar she posed for back in 2005? Let's just say the USGA wasn't exactly thrilled about their golfing prodigy selling swimsuit posters right outside a major tournament. It was almost like they expected every female golfer to be the picture of buttoned-up propriety. The constant scrutiny took its toll. All the while, Natalie had to put on a brave face, smiling for the cameras even when every swing sent a jolt of pain through her body. The pressure was immense, and the joy she once felt for the game started to dim. The girl who was supposed to revolutionize women's golf found herself trapped in a cycle of physical setbacks and emotional hurdles. It was a stark reminder that even the brightest stars can struggle with unseen battles. But despite the hardships, Natalie held firm to her unique brand of athleticism and femininity. She never apologized for who she was, a force to be reckoned with, both on and off the course. While her golfing victory started to dry up, Natalie Gulbus was far from finished making her mark on the world. With that same spark and determination that made her a fan favorite, she forged a new path, turning her life experiences into opportunities to help others. Because life, like golf, doesn't always go according to plan. Even the best laid shots can end up in the rough. In a surprising twist, politics came calling. 
Her outspoken nature and willingness to challenge the status quo made her an interesting figure in the political arena. In 2016, she delivered a passionate speech at the Republican National Convention, expressing her support for then-candidate Donald Trump. It was a move that ruffled feathers in the often apolitical world of golf, with some criticizing her decision, while others applauded her for using her platform. Yet for Natalie, it wasn't about pleasing everyone. It was about standing up for what she believed in. Politics aside, Natalie embraced a variety of endeavors. She established the Natalie Gulbis Foundation, which is dedicated to empowering young girls through sports, education, and health initiatives. She even tried her hand at television, hosting her reality show. The show didn't quite capture the hearts of audiences like her golf game once did, but hey, you can't fault a girl for trying new things. Most importantly, Natalie became a fierce advocate for sports-related health and wellness. Her struggles with chronic injuries ignited a desire to promote injury prevention and raise awareness for athletes at all levels. In 2018, President Trump even appointed her to the Council on Sports, Fitness and Nutrition, highlighting her ongoing commitment to these causes. While she may not have dominated the fairways in recent years, Natalie remained a true icon of women's golf. Those infamous calendars? They were auctioned off for charity, of course. Her bold image shoots challenged outdated notions of female athletes. They paved the way for a new generation of golfers who weren't afraid to embrace their individuality and femininity while still conquering the greens. So what happened to Natalie Gulbis? Did she retire and disappear into the world of celebrity endorsements? Did her star fade into obscurity? Not quite. The truth is, her story is far from over. She simply pivoted. The golf course became a launch pad for various passions and pursuits. From advocating for wellness to dabbling in politics, Natalie proved that success is only sometimes measured in trophies or tournament wins. She defied expectations, carved her path, and made a name for herself outside the sport that first brought her into the spotlight. Sure, the Natalie Gulbis who dazzled us in her early career may be gone. Still, she's evolved into something even more compelling, a multifaceted woman using her experiences to impact and inspire others. Her journey is a reminder that even when life throws a nasty slice, a true champion adapts, finds new directions, and keeps swinging big. And you know what? Perhaps that's more impressive than any hole-in-one. So, did Natalie Gulbis retire to join a traveling dance troupe? Start a competitive back corset-wearing league? Open a combination of golf course and petting zoo? Nope, none of the above. But while she never quite reclaimed her golfing glory, that doesn't make her journey any less interesting. She was and always will be a whirlwind of talent, controversy, and undeniable charisma. She wasn't afraid to disrupt the golfing establishment, reminding us that sports doesn't always have to be so stuffy. Did this answer your question, or did it raise even more? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with the wildest stories in golf.